So this is me making some coffee. I wanted to talk about um, my hair again and my relationship to my hair. I'm coming up on my 42nd birthday, and I have um, decided to finally, finally to go blonde, like a honey blonde. So we're going to see how this go. My birthday is on Thursday this week, but I'm going to dye it Wednesday. Anywho, I really didn't want to show myself because I feel like I'm going to be probably crying in this. So this is my first time doing like a voiceover video on this channel, on my channel. I have it on like probably TikTok and Instagram, but um, not here. So I want to talk about how I had an interesting conversation with my barber about um, my hair and we're talking about dyeing it, right? He has a few other um, women clients who have short hair, but still not the same texture. And I was telling him, we were talking about, um, you know, anti-blackness and us um, being taught not to like the hair that grows out of our head, especially me. I guess you would call it 4C hair, which it has tight, tight, tight curls, extra coarse hair. Even though I don't, I don't really like to um, to rely on or base our hair texture on that chart because it was made by a white man. It's totally anti-black, hella racist. But that's what we have as a chart, I guess you could say, and that's how we are um, able to determine the curl pattern of our hair, right? By that, you know, chart and. Um, he talks about another client who has continuously dyed her hair, dyed her hair, dyed her hair, dyed her hair. And she has stripped away so much of her hair that it looks damaged. And he said it, and he would know he's a barber. He's been a barber over 20 years, right? And he's been cutting black hair and other hair for um, <clears throat> for over 20 years now. And I told him that... Um, I understand that because I tried to process the hell out of my hair with the perms and straightening. I begged my mom for a perm because it was more manageable. Coarse hair is a lot to deal with. It, it is a lot to deal with. The easiest, easiest, easiest process of hair, of different hairstyles for me and putting my hair through anything is now having this buzz cut, basically. It's the easiest and more practical thing in the world. I don't think I'll ever grow my hair back. But in the process of growing my hair to color it, even though I've seen so many black women who have shorter hair than me and they dye it, i just afraid. I don't know. I'm just so afraid. And also, I hate the way my hair looks growing. I hate it. I hate it. I really do, and I have to think about why do I hate it? Why do I hate the hair that was blessed upon me? Because when it was longer, it could hold a curl. It can hold like it was very healthy and strong and black, dark, 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 dark black, and I absolutely loved it. But um, I'm trying to fall back in love with my hair being short and trying to unpack my internalized anti-blackness or my internalized texturism with my hair. And it's been a process. And I think I did a video before about this, talking about how um, how we need to have a real conversation. Black women need to have a real conversation about length of hair and what we consider good hair, you know, pretty hair and, and things of that nature. Even though we have a whole natural hair movement and a lot of women going natural, they cut away the perms and stuff like that, but they still feel the need to have wigs and weaves and things like that. And, you know, I love it. I don't care what it is. I love how we're, able, we're so versatile. I can have locks one day, a, a, you know, um, um, a buzz cut the next day, then have um, locks again, box braids, all that. I like that we're very versatile with our hair, but I just want to talk about the at our natural, natural, natural state. Why do I feel this way about it? Like, I hate it. Soon as it starts growing, I'm cutting it. Um, why naps are so bad for me, like, you know, and it's a lot of trauma going through being um, dark and having nappy hair, having 4C hair, coarse hair. Um, my son has it, which um, I'm not surprised because he has everything else of his father. He looks like me now, 
but his father has a different curl pattern. It's softer. It's more manageable. Nah, my son has my hair, and um, he hates to brush it. He hates to do it. That's why I always got to keep it cut. But, um, yeah, unpacking that more and more and falling back in love with my hair in this state. And I just had to say that while making my coffee or whatever. I didn't want to be on camera like that because then I get, I feel like looking at myself, I get too emotional and everything. So this is my process of making coffee. You want to you wanna get these long bat wings. You want to get this dry face. <laughs> and you're going to get me drinking my morning coffee before I have talked to any freaking body. But that's it. How do you feel about your hair in its natural, natural state? When was the last time you've seen your hair in its natural, natural state without hurrying up putting a wig over it or box braids or faux locks, which is absolutely fine. But how do you feel about your hair, your black hair, in its natural state? Because I have so many feelings about it, and, um, and I'm learning to unpack it with myself and take a deep look inside myself and um, understand that my hair is beautiful in the state, the way I was born into it, the way God has made it to be. And there's a lot of unpacking and there's a lot, a lot, a lot of trauma. So, you know, as always, keep it cute in the comments. Don't be disrespectful. You'll get blocked and curse the fuck out.